What do you think? Did the jokes cross yes. the line for you? Well, see, I have three dogs in this fight, so let me start there. I'm black, I am a comedian, and I am transgendered. So I have three dogs in this fight, and I want to be fair to each and every one of those platforms. What I heard from Dave Chappelle's latest special was the, the overpouring of racism that he talked about, because I understand that he's talked about the transgender community, and some of the things were painful to hear, but funny, because as a comedian, that is our safe place. That is where we are the safest on stage, where we should feel like we should be able to say anything. Nina Simone said it best. How can you be an artist and not speak about the times? He says it in socially inappropriate ways that people say is not politically correct, but it's teachable moments, and there was no lies told. Here's the hypocrisy for me, Don, and I love my community, LGBTQ plus IA, and I'm saying it correctly because I am still a comedian first, but I'm going to be respectful tonight to everyone involved because I have a three, three dogs in this fight. The, the love of me as a comedian will always be in me, but I can hide that. The transgender person that I identify as will always be in me, but I can hide that. But the black person in me, I can never hide. I, I hate the fact that we keep skirting around. So here it is, the hypocrisy. Dave Chappelle gave his friend, his words, his friend who was white and transgender, a job, who wanted to be a comedian, an opportunity to open for him. Dave Chappelle is one of the greatest to do it of our time right now. That was a huge opportunity to, to, for her. The LGBT community never reached out to give her any opportunity like that. But then they turned and said that he was transphobic, he was homophobic, that all the backlash that he received from two or three episodes ago from specials. And she stood with her friend, the transgender woman, and stood with against Dave to say, no, he's not like that. And we'll, we'll, the LGBTQIA plus community bashed this woman so bad that she jumped off a building and killed herself. Dave was not responsible for that. So who is? Because Flame, we don't know. Thing, Flame, I have uh, to say, Donna, we don't know. We don't know exactly why she killed herself. But anyway, go on. I'm sorry. Her constitution and my constitution are very different. The backlash at me, I'm not going to do that. But here's the thing. Who are we blaming for that? You're not blaming Dave. Dave gave her an opportunity that the community did not give her. Mm-hmm. Listen, uh, Dave Chappelle is saying, quite honestly, what a lot of people think. They don't understand um, the trans community and how people may identify. Is that a fair statement? That, I, I think that's very fair. And I think that he has opened up an opportunity for us to come to the table and have real conversations, Don, about this. The problem is we keep sending disgruntled, angry people with their fist balls up in their face and with an attitude to come to the table. If you come to the table already with an attitude, you will never hear what I'm saying, and I will never hear what you're saying. If we don't take the time to have real conversations with real people in the community that represent, you can't come with an already agenda. So we can let down the smoke screen between us and them so there will just be an us. He pretty much said that we are so much more alike than we are different. And I'm telling you, you hear what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. You had to know that Dave Chappelle was cool and who he is because Dave Chappelle walked away from $50 million a few years ago. It is in the Bible, and it says, for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Hey, the Flame. money was never the problem. He came back. Yes. L let me ask you this, um, because I've heard your stand-up, and you say that we fight over the wrong things. We get too hung up on titles, yes. and even as African Americans and as members of the LGBTQ mm -hmm. plus community, that we get too hung up on things that are, look, look, you call people what they want to be called. That's how I feel. But we can have these discussions, yeah, and, but, and, but we get too hung up on, you know, titles and letters and... Well, what, what, what is... What, what, it was just kind of like the Democratic Party to me. Are we trying to win the war of these little battles? And here's the thing. There are going to be two sides of history with the transgender community. There's the disgruntled, angry side that is still fighting over bathroom wars and pronouns and, and these, th these minute rights. And then there's the side of history where we have a state senator, Sarah McBride in Delaware, Joe Biden appointed a doctor who is a, a transgender woman. Sir, uh, uh, MJ Rodriguez just made history by being nominated as the first transgender actress, actress to be nominated for a lead role in TV. So there's two sides of history. We're going one way and then we're being pulled back the other way only by us. Only by us, because if you sit down honestly and have a conversation with people, 
Don, people are really willing to listen. And in my experience as a trans woman for more than 30 years, most trans men and trans women are very willing to tell their stories to you if you sit them in a safe yes, capacity and make them feel comfortable and say, hey, how are you? What's yeah. your name? As opposed to coming to me with an attitude or embattlement because I'm already going to be on the defense because of the life that I have lived. And it, it's not a chosen life. It really is in you. It is not a chosen life. Well, it is in me to be to identify as transgender. I would love to have continue to have this conversation. And look, I think that there is we should be able to have these discussions without yelling at each other and offer some understanding about That's true. this community. That's and true. at the very least, look, you can love what Dave did or hate it or whatever, but I think you're right. I'm a the, comedian. The, I am a comedian, and I, I, I'm telling you, I, I got three dogs in the fight. Yeah. I have to be fair to all three. But at the very least, we're talking about it, and I think we should use this opportunity to continue to have these discussions in a responsible, productive Absolutely. way. Flame, I can't wait to come see you. And if I do come, I want to I sit on the front row. We're going to have so a drink together. Help me Don. get some tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Flame, you take for care. For sure. Thank you Thank so you much for having much. me. I really appreciate having this conversation uh, with both these women. Thank you so much. CNN contacted.